Welcome back to a new episode. It is your girl Tracy. I am back. I have been gone for a minute, but I am back. I'm back. I'm back. For those who are new here, welcome. For those who are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you guys as always. Y'all, today is October the 2nd, and I just realized, well, not just realized, but I've realized that I have not done a vlog in about a month. Um, things have been crazy in a good way. I've been working a lot. Um, my husband and I started a new contract that's taken up a lot of our time. So I haven't been able to kind of, you know, sit still and really like talk to, talk to my people, but I'm here to talk and I'm here to talk about fashion week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just coming down from an insane which i honestly i don't even know what i had but it had your girl down and out for a good solid week so i'm just kind of getting back into the group of things um but yeah like i said i want to jump on here and talk about fashion week y'all it was a whirlwind so this vlog is going to be a little different um as you can see you know i'm sitting here talking to you guys and i will add bits and pieces of my fashion week experience i did not unfortunately film as much as i wanted to during fashion week and i'll kind of get into the reason why and all that good stuff um into the vlog but i will you know like i said i will drop bits and pieces of you know what was going on some behind the scenes stuff you know just just little things that you know you can kind of take away but yes yeah. so let me see my look coffee and let's get into some chit chat now obviously before we get into it your girl gonna ask you to like share comment you know Follow me on all platforms. If you're not following me on IG, I don't know what you're doing with your life. That's where I put all my foolishness. And yeah, so now that we've gotten all of that out the way, let's dive in. Let's talk. Let's talk Fashion Week. Now, not only did I attend Fashion Week in New York, but I came straight off the plane. Not straight off the plane, but I came off that trip, you know, maybe took a week to decompress and then jump into New Orleans Fashion Week. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about New Orleans Fashion Week as well, but let's start, let's start with the big dog. Let's talk with New York. <clears throat> okay, so Ayan and I had been talking about attending Fashion Week together. Now, Ayanna lives out in New York, in New Jersey, and this was her very first one as well. And we wanted to really experience it together just like we experienced experience Essence together. This was uh, her very first Essence Fest and she came down here and I made sure to, you know, roll out the Nola red carpet for her. And so I knew, you know, she was, she turned around and did the same thing for me when I went out there. But this was our very first, you know, Fashion Week experience together. So it was really cool to have somebody not only with me, but somebody who had no clue what they was doing either. <laughs> so um, we just, you know, navigated the waters together. So <clears throat> I wrote down some things that I wanted to kind of touch on just so I can stay focused because it was just a lot. It was a lot, a lot, a lot. And I really want to start from you know, the planning aspect of everything to, you know, getting into all the fun stuff. So before we, uh, before we, you know, when we talked about doing fashion, we, we were trying to figure out like, you know, outfits, you know, just like New Orleans, when she came down, we coordinated outfits. Um, I think we coordinated to perfection. Okay. So we tried to do the same thing for New York. It didn't really work out as planned, but we tried. So we were trying to get our outfits together. We were trying to figure out where we're going to stay. We we're going to try to, we were trying to figure out like where to, you know, what shows to get in, what events to get into, all those different things. 
when she came for Essence, it was very different. You know, New Orleans is about that big, about that big. And it's very easy to kind of navigate through the city. Whereas New York, you know, there's so much going on and it's all over the place. So, you know, you, you kind of, when you're looking for a place to stay, you're trying to find a place that's like centrally, lo centrally located. Obviously, you know, for Fashion Week, you want to be in the fashion district, in the area where you know, like, a lot of the shows, at least the bigger shows is going on. So you kind of want to, you know, if you're fortunate enough to get into it, you are very close to it. Um, but I mean, that wasn't the case for us because baby, my little 12,000 followers was not going to get me in Sergio Hudson. Yeah. But I was not discouraged. Okay. I was not discouraged. So the first thing we thought about when we, um, when we decided to do it, we were thinking, okay, so where where are we gonna stay? Again, Ayana lives in New well, she lives in New Jersey, and she's literally like 15 minutes from New York, from the city. But she suggested that we get a hotel downtown just because the traffic was gonna be insane, the tolls were gonna be crazy, it was just gonna be too much. Um, and we didn't want to have to kind of go back and forth, back and forth which this was definitely the best decision that we made just because the traffic was dumb, okay? The traffic was dumb, the Ubers was dumb. Uh, I mean, easy $40, $50 for Uber, easy. But that was it was cheaper than her having to drive in and find a lot to park in and that probably would have just been astronomical so we wound up finding a place to stay and luckily before we went ahead and booked our hotel because we were looking at a few different hotels and we were able to get you know some tea from another creator that ayana had a, a pretty good relation has a pretty good relationship with um, so shout out to personal bravery. When I tell you this girl came in clutch, super, super sweet. Ayana was talking to her about fashion week. She knew that she had attended fashion week for a few, a few times. I did not know anyone who attended fashion week. Like I was reaching out to people. She was reaching out to people. We were just trying to kind of get some tips and tricks as to what to do, where to go, things like that. Some people that I was reaching out to, I mean, honestly, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a hundred be 100 <clears throat> they just was they wasn't trying to trying to help and i hate that i hate that i hate that because i did not want that to overshadow the people who were helping like you know in this industry and influencers there's no reason why we should be gatekeeping we should be like um oh girl i don't really know what's going on but then i see you out and about like doing the most so it's like you're not taken away from you by helping me like but you know aside from just the the few people that were not trying to like help out we met some amazing people who were like sis do this 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 and we were like yo and, you know that's that was the community that we were excited to be a part of because coming off of essence that high from essence and being around you know creators that were local that you know that i had already known that were so welcoming for her that you know when i told them this was her first time at essence they were like oh yo dude is it a, you know to the creators that i had just met that just came in from the city came in town for essence was you know amazing as well so it was you know part part of me was like a little disappointed when I was reaching out to some and they were just not really trying to either they just ignored me or they were like oh girl you don't really know what's going on <clears throat> but whatever but the the ones that did yo y'all the real MVPs y'all y'all really helped these two girls who had no idea <laughs> what was going on and what to do y'all really helped them out so shout out shout out to y'all um but anyway so when we were looking for a hotel, you know, Ayana had reached out to uh, a girlfriend, uh, another influencer friend of hers that had, had gone, had been to um, New York Fashion Week. I can't talk, y'all. And she really, like, gave her the rundown. 
Ayanna got off the phone with this lady and called me and she said, sis, she broke it down. Okay, she broke it down to us. She told us that, um, you know, I know you want to stay at a hotel. They cute. They, you know, hot, but they about that big. And two people in a hotel in New York that have multiple looks that are trying to, you know, create content. It's too much. So she suggested that we book a Sonder. I know you were probably like, what's Sonder? Or if not, you know, I was like, what's Sonder? So Sonder, Sonder is, Sonder are apartments. And baby, when I tell you, I'm gonna go ahead. I think this is where I'm gonna drop like the little room tour. Baby, Sonder was where it's at. If you are going to New York Fashion Week or just if you're going to New York and you want space, book a Sonder. The same price that we would have um, have paid for a hotel, by that big, we got a Sonder apartment. So the apartment was a one bedroom, big like king size bed, walk-in closet, <clears throat> kitchen, and living space. For the same amount as what we would have spent at a hotel on a hotel so baby she came in clutch with that tip off top make sure you check out sonder if you're going to new york fashion week um i'm going back in february at least that is the goal and we are we already know like that's we're just gonna go stay right back um I'll put the the one that we stayed at in the description because I cannot remember exactly like what the location and all that good stuff. But I know it was it was centrally located. We were right down the street from the subway. We were down the street from Central Twenty One, a Starbucks, um, the Oculus. So we were able to move around and had no problems. The next thing I will say, just real quick. Don't, don't don't be afraid to jump on the subway because again the traffic was so crazy and the ubers are so expensive it, it was just it was just easier to jump on the subway I, we know for next time to jump on the subway we didn't utilize the subway like we should have we was in and out of ubers and that just was not a good look for the pocket you know so anyway, so yeah, so that was that was like the best one of the best tips that we received from uh, our girl personal bravery. So when I got there, um, well, first before I got there, you know, it was trying to figure out like what to pack um, with if you saw my New Orleans vlog, I didn't pack jack shit for the most part, like Ayana had everything under the sun. And I literally threw like a duffel bag of things. And so I was not prepared. So this time I was like, I'm going to be like super duper prepared. So I had two, you know, check-ins. I had my backpack. I had my vlogging camera. I had my drone child. I had everything that you could possibly think about. Um, and unfortunately, I did not tap into half of the things that I brought. You know, one, because the weather there was so hot and it rained. So I, the looks that I had, now mind you, we, I shot in the looks, I did. But I didn't wear the looks because it was just way too hot. So there was a lot of things that, you know, luckily I packed for just in case, like if the, if it got cold or if it got, you know, whatever, I, I packed, you know, different things. So a lot of the looks that I had planned, child, I ain't wear them. <clears throat> I shot in them, but I ain't wear them. So just make sure you really check the weather, like literally like days before you make your final decisions on what you're gonna wear i think i think february is gonna be a little bit different and easier just because you know it's gonna be cold it's gonna be cold so i mean it's either gonna be puffer jacket cold or it's gonna be you know puffer jacket cold so just i know for me it'll be a lot easier for february but baby just did that that september who it felt like essence all over again it was so hot but it was all good. 
again first timer you know you work you work in the king's house so i got there wednesday i got there very early fashion week did not technically start until friday but i got there wednesday and i wanted to get there just so we could kind of have time to just lay everything out you know decompress you know go shopping do some like chill stuff before it's we were like in the rat race so the first thing we did was we actually when i got off the plane we had two events to go to the first event was a prosecco event which was really really chill real cool it was on top of a roof um in the city a good vibe it was hot but it was a good vibe the second thing we did after we left there we went to an anthropology event which was really cool it was like a it was a shopping event but also um they had a panel and uh they kind of showed like some new things that anthropology had and we got a, bag, a swag bag that's you know that's, i love me some swag baby so i brought some stuff that i got down i didn't bring everything but i just bought some stuff because a lot of a lot of the swag bags always consist of like beauty products things like that and y'all need to see hairspray and shampoo but i did get <clears throat> these three things that were in the bag that i want to show you guys the first thing was this really pretty lip gloss that i have not worn yet but it's like a purplish plum color and i think it's going to be perfect for fall it's by madam and matt i don't know if you can see that and here is the packaging really pretty you know like i said it's a pretty fall color and i haven't worn it so i can't tell you like if it stays if it's long lasting but you know it's a really pretty color i think that um something that I'll, I'll keep in my purse the second thing that i got was a pair of sunnies and i'm always i'm always happy to receive sunglasses because we all know that i love a good pair of sunnies so these are by matt and nat and i did not realize anthropology had like a crazy sunglass selection so these are black sunnies as you can see i haven't even worn them because i wanted to show you guys but this is what they look like on really cute right right so i'm excited to wear these and then the last thing that i got was which i was really happy about this because when i was packing for fashion week there were a lot of my, my fragrances that i wanted to bring but i did not want to pack my large bottles so and i should have brought them downstairs but i did not i bought these atomizers from uh amazon so where you can fill up your your bottles fill up your perfume with in in the little small bottle so you know they're they make them you know carry on the only thing i will say about the ones that i got i, I put them in a plastic bag because i was afraid that they were going to leak and i think they did a little bit not a lot but i because i could smell it in the bag um, but I mean, it's, it was fine. Like it, like I said, I put it in a plastic bag, so it didn't get on any of my clothes or whatever, but that's pretty much what I've read from all the reviews on the itemizers that you just have to be careful, um, not to fill it completely cause they will leak. So just so you know, but I got this, this is a perfume set called from Toka, the brand Toka. And I thought they were so pretty. I have not smelled all of these yet because as you can see it's a ton of them but i thought that was really cute and this is perfect because i'm a perfume girl and i love to keep perfumes handy i have them in the car and you know like the smaller ones like i said in my purse so i thought this was perfect so hopefully i like some of the scents and i'll um, carry them around so so yeah so that was like the first day we did that and then we went to nobu to eat and that was my first time at nobu and baby nobu is expensive y'all didn't tell me no, but it was expensive, but I was gone with it. You know, I was in New York, living a New York life. But yeah, it was expensive and I was still hungry. So anyway, that was day one. Day two, we got up. Um, we hadn't checked into our room yet. So we got up and what did we do? We had lunch. Oh, I had breakfast. Uh, her husband brought some bagels. You know, I had to have my little New York bagel. Um, some bagels and got, we got ready and we went to go to the outlet mall. This is day two. Oh wait, I need to look at this. 
I always I know here. it's so dangerous. <laughs> it's so dangerous. Okay, so this is day two. We are actually it's a shopping day for us. We are at where are we? Woodbury Commons. Woodbury Commons. Mm -hmm. Um the outlets and we are going to check out Lueve, Gucci, Fendi, all of the fun stuff. See what we can buy. Speaking of buying, I had to tell you guys real quick. So <laughs> I gotta thanks. I gotta thanks. This is so funny. So I went to buy some jeans, right? Really cute, cute jeans. I'm going to do a whole unboxing. And the jeans said $79.90 or something like that. So here I am. I'll go up to the counter. You had my money in my hand. I had cash. So, you know, I pulled out like $100. Mm -hmm. The ladies rang up my money, rang up the jeans and said, okay, that'll be $79.90. I was so confused. And then Ayana's like, we don't pay mm -mm. taxes on clothes. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, do you know how much that would have been in New Orleans? It would have been $90. Mm -hmm. Like those, those $79 jeans would have been $90. And then I find out she don't pump our gas. Mm -mm. We pulled into the gas station last night. And of course me in true like looking around, making sure mm -hmm. nobody going to run up on us. Mm -hmm. Here come this man. And I'm like, who is this man? Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, he's he's pumping the gas. I'm like, what? <laughs> she, she thinks this is really funny. But I am so intrigued right now. Because I'm like, you don't pump your gas. Mm -hmm. You don't pay a sales tax. Mm -mm. why Move do, to Jersey. I'm like, why do, <laughs> why do I live in New Orleans? All right, let's go shopping. Um, I hadn't been in New York in years. And that's the one thing that Ayana knew that I wanted to do was go to the outlet because the last time I was at the outlet mall, y'all, I don't know if you've ever been to a Jersey outlet mall. I think it's called Woodbury Commons. I could be making that up, but this particular outlet mall was like a premium outlet mall. So Gucci, Fendi, Christian Dior, like Lueve, the, the goods. And I was itching to go. So we got there and um, first thing I did was I had to find like a gap or something like that because I had jeans on. Matter of fact, I had these jeans on. I had these jeans on. And I was about to burn up in flames, y'all. So I found a gap and bought me a $12 dress. Put that dress on in the dressing room i turned around and looked at the lady and i was like i'm not stealing this i'm going straight to the room <laughs> go straight to register for them to scan this tag because i'm not trying like i i have to walk out with this because it was so so hot and then these jeans let me show you these jeans so these jeans are called they're from this this brand called blanc beauty no they're not blanc beauty that's why i get my nails done blanc nyc and they're super cute. I got these jeans from UAL and they were like 30 bucks. But as you can see, they have like this little leather piece right here. Y'all, burst in flames. See here? Burst in flames. So I went ahead and changed and then I was nice and comfortable. I was able to walk around and I feel like I was going to faint. So I bought, I only bought one thing from there. I bought a pair of Lueve jeans. And when I say one thing, that's all I really needed to buy after buying a pair of Lueve jeans. And they're super cute. I did a whole photo shoot in them. I'm going to plug it in so you can take a look at it. And that was my fix. That's all I needed. So that was, that was a two. Went back to the house, chill, a, you know, just relax until it was time to like jump in to the madness <clears throat> so like i said before or if i don't know if i did say that i wrote things down so i could stay on track so i told you what we did on day one day two um told you about where to stay okay so we check into the space and the space is gorgeous like i said it is roomy we have enough space that we're not on top of each other the location is great um people can't just kind of can't walk in and out like a hotel there's a, a gate code or there's a code that you need to plug in every time you get in there was a rooftop we took pictures on top of the roof like it was just a really really cool spot so we got in there and we kind of like you know put everything down to stuff out, organize, and that was Friday. And let me see, what did we do Friday? Cause I cannot remember. 
because it was just it was a whirlwind it was a lot oh so friday what we did was we went down to spring studios that's where the big shows were that's where sergio hudson was that's where um who else is down there uh christian sariana like the big big shows were down there so we went down there and luckily we had uh ayana's husband as our paparazzi as our photog so let me tell you a little bit about that we had been teeter-tottering with flying my photographer in new orleans up we were gonna fly her up and stay with us and let her take all just do all of our content and we focus on you know vlogging and things like that and the last minute like we decided not to we were like you know what we could do it ourselves it's no big deal like i could shoot you you could shoot me it's not you know it's not that big of a deal when i tell you i we she's she's definitely gonna come in february like the hands down she's gonna come in. it was it was too much and that first day that ayana's husband was there was perfect because we were able to focus on just kind of like networking and talking to people opposed to like okay stop gotta put this down gotta snap this picture turn around you know it was just too much so that that very first day that 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 friday was really was really cool for us because you know he was able to shoot us you know kind of like getting us in real time photos and not necessarily stage photos for the most part and we met a, a lot of great creators that were out there as well because one thing about fashion week well one thing about my experience is especially if you're not going to a show you still want to be in the space where the shows are because at the end of the day you're trying to get um some press you're trying to get photographed you're trying to meet people you're trying to form connections with people and it's very hard to do that and fumble around with a big camera at the same exact time so if you have it in your budget or if you are thinking about going to fashion week and you want to budget i i highly suggest you do that now hey not saying that it cannot be done because ayana and i did it you know after her husband was off you know he had to go back home and you know work and all that good stuff it was up to us to shoot ourselves um, but I feel like we missed a lot of good content because of that reason. You know, we're walking around with, with a big camera. I got, you know, my, which you should do this anyway. We got a big bag that we're putting our heels in. So when it's time, you know, to change out of the flats, because you walking, you doing a lot, a lot of walking, you know, we're stopping. So it was just, it was just too much and the the photographers in new york listen i feel like one of the photographers that we looked at it was like 30 minutes for like 500 dollars. it was something crazy no no ma'am pam so you know new orleans photographers don't cost that at all like at all at all so we were like look we just fly her up you know put her in a room with us you know get a two bedroom put her in a room with us um pay her you know it it would have been cheaper had we had done that opposed to if we were to which we did not if we were to reach out to that particular photo and it was 30 minutes for 500 dollars. no immediately no so yeah like i said if you are going if you're worried about you know a photographer then you definitely should put that in your budget to have that person come with you i mean it'll make it a lot easier because we had so much there were so so many situations that i wish that we would have caught on camera because they were funny like one time ayana and i were in a in the subway station and i am a very let me just i'm a shy vlogger and i don't like taking pictures in front of like a ton of people which i kind of had to work out 
of that in New York because everybody is out there taking pictures. Girl, we saw people with big old lights in the middle of the street taking pictures. And I was like, and Ayana's like, and you scared? What you scared for? And I'm like, I don't know. But anyway, there was one particular space that we were shooting in the subway and she was taking a picture of me. And it was so funny because she went to lean back, which she thought was a wall. She went to lean back and like, she didn't get hurt or anything like that, but she fell back because the door opened on her. I was like, oh my, like we both were crying laughing because we were like, that would have been so funny to put on the vlog. But, you know, we was, we was taking pictures of one another. So ain't nobody was like, hold on, let me set up the vlogging camera. Let, we we're going to do all that. So anyway, so all of that to say, get your photographer, <clears throat> get your photographer. All right, so that was Friday. Friday, we went down to Spring Studios. Um, after we did that, <clears throat> what did we do? Friday. Oh, we had the Kensington Gray um, mixer. So this was our second time being invited to a Kensington Gray mixer. The first one was in New Orleans, which I was very, very excited and happy that I was a part of that, uh, just being a part of that number. If you are not familiar with them, um, they are literally like the creme de la creme when it comes to uh, black influencer uh, management. And the room was just, Full of amazing, amazing, amazing black creators. Um, who is a part of the roster? Uh, the Yusufs are part of the roster. Um, uh, Janae uh, Taylor, I think that's her last name. Um, Karen Burchick, which is one of my favorites, is a part of the roster. So, you know, you are in a room filled with all of these amazing talented creators who have been in the game for years and who you are not aspiring to be but you know you obviously want to get to that level of 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 you just want to you just want to get to that level um you know for for creators i know for myself i'm not just on here taking pictures because i like to take pictures of myself no like there is a goal and what I appreciate and love about watching their journey is that you can see that they have crafted and been in very strategic when it comes to reaching and attaining the goals that they have put out for themselves. So hats off to them. And I loved being in the space, just meeting other creators that are aspiring to be on that level. So that was really cool. Um, we met this one girl there and i do not know her name oh my god but she was i'm gonna drop her handle down because she was she was another one she was another creator who we ran into and we were like okay what because of course people are talking to you and they're like all right so what you about to do and we're just like you know <laughs> like we don't have no plans like we had no plans like we were literally just kind of hopping around there were a few things that we had like registered for us. so we registered for the chanel um pop-up which we did not make and i'm upset that we didn't go to because it looks super super cute but so we had that that we could have gone to but we did not and then there was one other event that we had registered. But for the most part, we were just kind of popping in and out of places. So, you know, this girl is like, okay, so what y'all about to do? We like, you know, um, nothing. What should we do? And she was like, oh, are y'all going to go to this? Y'all going to go to that? And we're just like, no, like we didn't even know about it. You know, she was like, just show up, just go show up. And we were like, what? She just kind of gave us like the rundown, like, listen, Nine times out of ten, you will not get turned around, turned away because you're a content creator. You have a following, you know, regardless if it's small or big. In some cases, you know, yeah, that counts. People do look at numbers. But then in some situations, people are just like, you know, it's press. It's press. So they're not going to turn you around. So she said, you just show up. I promise you, you show up. And we were like, wow, you know, we really appreciate you, you know, kind of giving us that tea because... You know, 
there were a few people that we would ask questions to and you know via dm or whatnot people that we had been you know chatting with thinking that you know all right cool you know we have we formed some type of relationship you're gonna be out there i'm gonna be out there all right cool let's connect yada 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 some were just not receptive either they just didn't respond or they kind of gave you a very vague answer of like oh you know i don't really know yet um and then you see them at all these things and you're like really cool no problem but the ones that were really like sis go here do this x for this person i was like yo this is what i'm talking about like this is because that's the same thing i did in um for essence when creators that I saw that were coming into town, I was like, oh, you know, there's this party here, there's their party. Like, for why gatekeep? There's no point in gatekeeping. Like, for what? So at the end of the day, everybody is just trying to, you know, make ends meet. We're trying to grow. We're trying to connect. We're trying to form relationships. What's the point of, you know, mm, mm, no, no. So no. Uh -uh. So kudos to the ones that really were looking out for us because we had absolutely no idea what we were doing um so we so we were able to kind of like pop into a few different places we went to this one place i don't know the name of it i'm bad with all of that but we went and we were able to tour like um black designers up and coming black designers so they showcase you know jewelry clothing handbag shoes that was amazing you needed to make an appointment we made an appointment got in and it's it was obvious that it was for buyers but just to see like all of this the talent that people are just that they have is just like yo this is crazy so that was cool we really enjoyed doing that um when it came to the shows we did not go to any of the shows and one reason why, you know, I didn't know how to even go about getting into shows until somebody gave me some tea on, there's a website called Global Collective. And I'll put it down in the description. Global Collective has the tea on all the shows. What's, op what's an open show, meaning like open to the public, what's closed that, you know, unless you're going to sneak in, you can't get in. Or if you were invited to, then there are shows that you can actually uh, request invitations for. And I, that's what I did. But everything that I was accepted or invited to wound up happening on Monday and Tuesday. And I left on Sunday. So, you know, I know for next time one start start ahead of the game you know you can't jump into this like a week or two weeks before you got to start vetting the people that you want to meet the relationships that you want to cultivate you want to start sliding into pr dms you want to start talking you know uh to creators ahead of time and you want to get on that global collective website and start um, kind of reaching out that way. For me, I know next time I don't need to come so early. Like I got there, like I said, on Wednesday and technically it did not start until Friday. And Fashion Week started Friday and didn't end until the previous Wednesday. So I know next time to go like right when it starts and then kind of stay throughout the week. That's at least that's what I'm going to try to do. I still have children who go to school. <laughs> so that's why I had to get back, you know, like I did. But that is, I would say, like, the most helpful thing that I learned while I was out there. And, you know, the hotel, the global collective, just being not, just not being scared to put yourself out there. I mean, what's the, what's the worst they're going to say? No. And then you go on to the next until you get your yes. So that is something that I have to honestly work on myself because I am definitely a lot shyer when it comes to like, you know, commanding the room. I'm kind of a wallflower in a sense. I don't want to call myself a wallflower because I definitely like my make my presence known. But I'm just not, I'm not assertive when it comes to like, you know, 
let me get in there. But in this industry, you kind of have to be like that in a sense. So, so that was that. Um, I talked about how long ago, the photographer, the events. Um, what else did we do? So that was Friday. Friday went to the Kingston Gray event, which was amazing. We, we were able to hear Dapper Dan. Oh, I was able to meet my girl, you know, in my head. She's my girl. Odd by Moni. Um, she and I, she's another larger influencer. She and I have been following each other for a while. And she's super sweet. She lives in Atlanta. She's always, always very supportive of me. And it felt good to be able to meet her face to face. And so I was able to give her a hug that day and at the, the Kingston Gray event. So I was very excited to meet her. And what else? What else? So that was Friday. Saturday, Saturday we got dressed up and wait, Friday it rained. Saturday, oh, I don't think it rained on Saturday. I can't remember. But Saturday we got dressed up and we had another event to go to and we found like a cute little cafe to eat. like it was it was chill but we just kind of bopped around soho and you know popped into different shops to um, took some photos and then sunday i left at four my flight was at four but we woke up early and shot it rained it rained that is when my hair went from curly to a bush it rained but I got some good shots. I'll insert the shots so you can see them. Ayana, Ayana was a trooper. She shot in the rain, and then I turned around and shot her. That was the day that we went when we shot in the subway, and she fell uh, through the <laughs> through the doors. Um, but yeah, so that was that was Sunday, and then I flew out after I shot, and that was it. Um, but so all in all, it was a really good trip. It was definitely an eye-opening experience um it is you gotta go and you have to have you gotta have a plan i mean you should have a plan period but you got you just have to have a plan with with everything especially in new york um things are not you know in walking distance for the most part you are hopping in and out of ubers which can get expensive so we'll hop on a train you know all those different things that i now know for the next time I go out there. So after that, I got home and I felt like after a week was New Orleans Fashion Week, which was completely different <laughs> from New York Fashion Week. Still fun, still amazing, but the energy was very, very different. Um, again, New Orleans is about that big. So you know, it's a lot easier to move around. I, so there were a few shows that I went to, great shows. Um, the ones in New Orleans are very heavily focused on small designers, up and coming designers showcasing their work. And y'all, the talent in this city is no joke. And it felt very good to be able to be a part of that. You know, I was able to sit and um, see, and there's like, the fashion show I went to because I only went to I went to two fashion shows because the, the one this one on Saturday I couldn't go to because I had um, what did I have to do I had a wedding oh I had a wedding but Friday that fashion show there's like five or six different designers it might maybe more showcasing in one day in one evening so they come back to back to back to back and some of the stuff was like I want it like I like I was like, how do I how do I order this? Cause the stuff was so good. That Friday I was able to go to the um the founder of New Orleans Fashion Week, Tracy Dundas, invited myself and a few other like twenty influencers and just some people in the industry to a brunch. And uh, I was able to, you know, I, there was a lot of people that I already knew there and there were some people that I hadn't met. Um, so that was exciting. I was able to, you know, meet some new people and um, form some new relationships. But uh, just talking to her and her why as to why she founded New Orleans Fashion Week was just very inspiring. And just to hear her like want to showcase the talent in, in the city because there is so much, so, so much. Um, so that was cool. And then after that, 
that was it. That was it. And so now here we are. I mean, there's, I was sick all last week, I guess because I was just running back and forth, just doing a lot of moving. And, um, and the Lord told me to sit down, basically. He's like, listen, it's, you've been doing too much. So I got to sit you down for a little while because this week, oh, Lord, I'm glad. Whew, I have a meeting at 12 o'clock. This week, I have um, a lot of other things that I need to do. I have, uh, as I'm co-chairing a Dress for Success event that is on Wednesday. On Thursday, I have a, uh, a evening event called Scales for Ale. Scales and Ales are benefiting the, um, the aquarium. And then on Friday, no, no, see, it's too much. It's too much. I think on Saturday, I have a cancer society gala to go to and on sunday is my birthday and i ain't doing jack shit <laughs> on my birthday sunday's my birthday so i have yeah so it's been a it's been a lot of moving around so oh child i'm over here talking i didn't show y'all the other things that i got so at the kingston gray event we got swag i love me some swag baby i love me some swag and again, I didn't bring everything down. I only brought a few things, but I want to show you what I got. And I got these two. One is a lip oil and the other is a Lid Joy Liquid Matte Eyeshadow by Ami Cole. This is a black designer, a black. Um, is that called a designer? No, it's not a called a designer. A black beauty brand. Child, what is wrong with me? A black beauty brand. And I have some of her stuff already. You can actually find this in Sephora. And she was one of the um, panelists for they had a talk. And she, um, listening to her build her beauty brand, you know, very inspiring, especially for those who are trying to get into beauty. Um, so anyway, this was in the swag bag. So I was very happy to receive that because like I said, I have some of it already and it's long lasting. So good. They also gave us, they gave us some other stuff like some hairspray, some like hair conditioning, things like that. I didn't bring that down because who wants to see all of that? But we got some more sunnies and we already know I love me some sunnies. So this brand, Lorva. Lord, I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, really nice, really nice case. Again, never worn these because I want to show you guys. But these are more fashion. I don't necessarily see myself like being out in the streets like for real, for real with these on. But they cute. They cute. They just green. But they cute. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. And then they also, Pandora was there, which I thought this was really cool. Pandora was there and they were engraving necklaces. And uh, unfortunately, the engraver was the, it was down. So they took everybody's information and they're mailing all of the, the things that we had engraved. So like you can choose from a heart, a locket, um, some other things, like some other little uh I don't want to say trinkets, charms. Um, so yeah, that that was really cool. I was like, "Oh, this for free?" <laughs> Somebody was like, I, "Ayana was like, yes, girl, it's free." I'm like, "Oh, all right." <laughs> so I was like, "How much this cost?" But anyway, so I was happy about that. And then I found this also in the bag, which y'all, this is gonna be my new favorite, like go-to drugstore lipsticks. L'Oreal, I have it on right now. It's the L'Oreal Paris. It is called Road Tripping. And when I tell you, I have been wearing this nonstop. So it's another, I think, a, you know, another fall color, but it's so long lasting. I do not have to reapply this. It is matte, so I definitely suggest you putting like a lip moisturizer or oil on first and then putting this on because it is matte. But it's not, it's not, I, well, I, I can't say it's not drying because like I said, I put like a lip conditioner on first. So I don't know how it would be if you did not put one on. But y'all, 
Do you see the color? Can you see it? It's pretty. Love it. And then also when I was out there, I was able to link up with one of my besties, uh, Keisha. She has been living out in New York for a few years now. And she works for the legendary Pat McGrath. And your girl hooked me up with a PR box. Uh -huh. I mean, y'all. This, listen, Keisha will always come in clutch when it comes to the makeup. She has been doing my makeup for years and years and years. She did my wedding makeup. So we go way, way, way back. And when we linked up for, for dinner, she was like, okay, I'm going to meet y'all. You know, tell me where you are. And baby, she was coming from the office. And when she walked in that door and had, had a box, I was like, oh, you came in clutch. So... I have not, I, I obviously I opened this, but I have not used any of this because I wanted to open and show you guys everything. And I'm so glad I'm doing this because now I can actually kind of like look in and start playing in my things. We all know that I'm not the, you know, professional makeup artist, but I love, love, love makeup. And I love Pat McGrath makeup. Pat McGrath, ever since she introduced me to them, I have been obsessed with this woman just because like the the formula that she uses it's it's top tier sis has mastered her formula the eyeshadows are long lasting the lipsticks do not move the uh foundation the just everything about this line and i mean the packaging is insane like you can't don't play with her and she black don't play with her so all right Let's get into this. So the first thing I have is the Pat McGrath Labs <clears throat> Skin Fetish Extreme Highlighter and Balm. This is my second one. Uh, Keisha gifted me with my very first one and I'm out. So she must have known, you know, to go ahead and, and slide me another one. But hold on because I, oh, because I didn't want to break this. So here is the, the highlighter and balm. So there's two sides, one size of balm, one size of highlighter. Here's the balm. I, typically I use this balm for like my lips because um, it's definitely moisturizing. And here's the highlighter. Look how pretty that is. Can you see it? Look how pretty that is. Don't you like when, don't you hate when people say, can you see that? Like you can't respond to me, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So. This is the highlighter and I'll put, I'll swatch it right here. I don't know if you can see that. You know what? Maybe I should do this. Child. Can you see that? It's pretty. It's really, really pretty. It's buildable. That's what I love about Pat McGrath stuff. Um, so it can go on as light or it can go on as heavy as you so choose. Mm, I should not have done that. I should have done it. Anyway, so that's the highlighter and balm. Add a little to, to my cheeks, so to my nose. The second thing here is the Divine Blush Legendary Glow Color Balm. Okay, so this is also, well, this is a blush. And again, the packaging, y'all. The packaging is just so good. Here's the blush. Pretty. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I gotta make sure I wipe all this off before I walk out of here because I look like I came from the strip club. Um, what all the amount of good I'm putting on myself. Came like I came from work. I, I don't work in the strip club, but you know what I'm saying. Shout out to those who work at a strip club. I ain't mad at y'all. Can I borrow a dollar? Um, the next thing is the Longwear Eye Primer, which I need badly. My eyelids, I have very, very oily skin. And I typically tend to prime my eyelid with, um, what you call it, that stuff, with foundation. And what I learned how to do from the girls on TikTok is after I put my pr 
primer, which has been my foundation. I set it with setting powder to, you know, mattify it or whatnot, but it's still, um, it was still creasing. So I have this eye primer. So we'll see how that work. I can't sit there and say that it's going to work because I haven't tried it. So I'll report back, but it is long wear eye primer and it's clear. So cool, cool, cool. All right, moving on to blush. I love her blushes. Again, long wear, long lasting and the colors. She has such good, a good selection of colors. This one is called uh, Path My Grab Black Define Divine Rose 3. Pretty. And see, Keisha knows my colors. She knows what I gravitate towards. And she knows, like, I love these pinks and these nudes and, you know, just really pretty, pretty feminine colors. Um, she has, Pat McGrath has on the back of this, blush without caution, fabulous, flirtatious, and sex, sexquisite seductions may result with prolonged use. Okay, Pat. All right. Okay. I probably said all that wrong, but <laughs> that's what I read. Okay. So now moving on to... Pat McGrath Labs Rouge it's lipstick. It is called Matte Trace Elsin. Let's see what this, see what this is working with. And again, look how cute the packaging is. They usually have like a little lipstick. So this one, I've never seen the one with the heart with the like the little diamonds. That's cute. And this color, ooh, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Another good fall color. It's a red. That looks very sexy. I might wear that this weekend. Because the gala that I'm going to, I'm wearing like this cute little red. Um, well, I can't wait to show y'all. It's like this red jumper with a detachable um, skirt. It's, it's cute. It's cute. Let's see. The next. Oh, and she gave me a little note. The next thing. Oh, these are. How did these get in here? These are actually mine. Oh. You know what? I probably stuck them in there. Um, the next thing is lip gloss. Lust lip gloss in Flesh Fantasy. Mm. Flesh Fantasy. Okay, yeah. Love. Again, it's a nudie pink color. You know, she knows I love like a nudie pink. Really pretty. This can definitely like be put on, I can put it on top of this. I'm not going to though, cause I like the matte look, but very cute, love this. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys, and I had to save the best for last. I feel like this, I don't wanna say it's the best, cause I mean, this whole box is amazing, but I got a Path McGrath Labs palette. Now this is a brand new, this is from her new collection. This is from her new collection, and I think this blush is from her new collection, and I think the um, the eye primer is part of her new collection. The baby, if you could feel the weight on this thing, it screams like luxe money is screen the packaging like everything is so thought out girl mother is just i mean look the gold bottom the mother just be listen okay y'all ready all right this is the way this is the way to open i want it to be all dramatic when i open it you ready are you ready oh get into these colors Y'all, again, my girl knows me. Ooh, she knows me. She knows I love pinks. She knows I love nudes. She knows I love like very romantic colors. And I mean, look how beautiful. This is the Mothership 
Child, I don't know what Roman numeral this is. It got the X and the I. Which one that is? It's the Sunlit Seduction Eyeshadow Palette. Colors like Skin Tints Radiance, Nude Rose, Hypnotic Bronze, Pink Fret Fetish, um, Copper Dawn, Sienna Mystique. Let me tell you something. I'm going to learn how to do my makeup because I got all this good stuff. And I think Ella probably do better makeup than I do because... But I am going to learn because I this right here is about to be my new go-to. About to be my new go-to. So, so yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see like to, to play around with this, and I'm so happy that I finally did this vlog because I can now play with all my stuff. I can all I can now go put all my stuff up and um, and play with it. So, <clears throat> so yeah. So that was my experience my fashion week experience um definitely if you are thinking about going this is the vlog this is the vlog to tell you to go this is the vlog to say stop second guessing yourself stop being scared um go i gave you some good tips i told you where to stay i told you to put a photographer in your budget if you can't put a photographer in your budget, just plan everything out. Just be very mindful when it comes to like what you want to shoot. You know, we, I think we felt prepared, but now that we have experienced it, we now know what we need to do um, next time. So um, dress accordingly, cause baby, that, that weather was weathering of <laughs> dress accordingly map out where you want to go find all the PR people that you need to contact start making relationships now um, find you a good buddy I mean just in and in, in, take it in and enjoy yourself I mean that's one thing you are out there and it is a rat race you are moving from this place to this place you're meeting it's a rat race but you have to take it all in as well you have to take that time and be like i am here i belong here you have to know your worth you have to know and feel not even just know it you got to believe it you got to believe in yourself you have to believe that you belong in those rooms because you belong in those rooms okay you belong in those rooms just like any other creator you are busting your ass you are creating content I don't care if you have 2,000 followers to 150,000 followers. You deserve to be there. And don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Don't any, let anyone diminish. And I know I said it, you know, my little follower count, I'm not. Did it. No, 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 no. And that is something that I have to shake out as well, like being honest. Like I, I had to shake, shake from that, believing that. Um, especially, 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 and I'm going to give you this little tea right here. What you see on social media, okay, which, I mean, you already know what you see is not always what you get. Hold on, let me make sure I, um, hold up, because I got, you know, I got a 12 o'clock meeting and I'm over here rambling and it, it is 11.41. All right, real quick. What you see is not always what it really is. When I look on some of these Fashion Week vlogs and I see, you know, where all these girls are going to all these different events and stuff and they're making it look so exclusive, it's not. All of them are not exclusive. Some of them were are open. Some of them people off the street can walk into. But it's the way that these vlogs are shot. It's the way the content is captured will make it look like, oh, wow. I wish I could be in that building. You can be in that building. Point blank period, okay? You can be in that building and you will be in that building and you should be in that building. Okay? So get that out your head. Get that out your head that you don't belong or it's too hard. Absolutely not. No. It's not. So you get on Global Collective, okay? And you sign up, okay? You create good content, 
you create not only good content, content that you are proud of, content that you are informing and educating and entertaining people. You hold your head up high when you were in those rooms. You talk to people. You make your presence known, okay? That's all I got to say. That's it. That's it. So on that note, I gotta go. Because I have this meeting to be at in 20 minutes. And I can't go in there with um, my Nike slides on. So, <laughs> it's been real as always. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you have made it this far, I appreciate you guys. Follow me. Share you know drop some comments whatever the case may be if this was helpful let me know i love 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 feedback i love to hear that i am you know entertaining you guys or you know giving you some type of insight um i mean because that's the whole point the point is to serve and to to be a vessel so all right y'all uh again i'm about to go i know i said that a million times but i'm about to go so ho um, holla bye